hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is joy and i'm your host for this youtube channel on here we talk about everything beauty skincare self-care and how to look good as children of god guys i know that the month of july your girl was m-i-a i wasn't so consistent and that is because i had a lot on my plate but this is the month of august and we are back we are back babies welcome back to the channel in the month of august so um today's video oh yeah guys before i even step into what today's video is all about thank you so much for subscribing for sharing for commenting for liking love you guys thank you so very much we are on our way to 4k and i'm so grateful thank you so very much guys so today we are going to be talking about how to stop comparing ourselves to other people whether it be your friends whether it be online it's going to be like a chit chat so i'm going to be doing my skincare routine while we talk about this okay so if this is something that interests you do keep watching so you guys know this popular saying that comparison is the thief of joy obviously i'm pretty sure you've heard it somewhere someone has said it you've heard it i just want to let you know that it is actually the thief of joy comparison is something that we struggle with as a generation like i feel like not just as a generation but i feel like a lot of people have one way or the other been in a space where they had to compare themselves to another person i would say it's normal human nature okay but at the same time it can be very toxic it can be something that will make you feel less of yourself and that is something we do not want now there's there, there's a difference between toxic comparison and healthy comparison okay and most of the time it is not always the healthy comparison it's always the toxic comparison that makes us feel less of ourselves that makes us feel like we're not doing good enough and that is the one we are going to tackle today i know it's so easy to look at other people online and feel like your life is worthless like your life you're not headed anywhere you don't even know what you're doing and social media has made that so easy like it's such a thing these days but the truth is you can never know what's going on in another person's life they can only show you what they choose to show you now i'm not saying people don't have amazing lives people do have amazing lives yes and they obviously share their amazing lives some people don't and they fake it and you can never tell most times you never know but that is even the more reason why you shouldn't compare yourself to another person so number one way to stop comparing yourself to another person is to practice gratitude now i know you've probably heard this a lot people say it oh my god practice gratitude practice gratitude but i'm telling you it is a game changer when you begin to appreciate the little things in your life the tiny things that god has given to you may not be so big but you begin to appreciate them i promise you you will not find yourself in that hole of comparison. You will not have to look at another person's life and feel like, oh, my life is not good enough because you're appreciating the things that you already have. You're grateful for the things that you already have. Gratitude opens doors for more things and gratitude helps you to stay contented and gratitude also helps you to not compare yourself to other people. Let me tell you something. I am grateful for my life i am grateful for every single thing that i have and that is why i cannot look at another person's life and say oh i want to have that person's life now you may have an amazing life but i'm working my way towards having an amazing life also my life is already amazing as it is as long as i have breath and i'm still living i am healthy my life is amazing i'm eating i have a roof over my head i am I am i am everything like i am grateful so you have to be grateful for the things that you have you need to look at the things that you have and say god thank you so much i admire the things that i have whether you have little or you have much or you have average whichever point that you have seven things be grateful because when you are not grateful you're going to be like you're going to open doors for comparison you're always going to keep looking at another person's life you're always going to keep saying ah this person has more than me the, the truth is there will always be people that will have more than you. even when you feel like you have enough there will always be someone that has more than you so practice gratitude so you don't find yourself in that space i promise you practice gratitude another thing i'm going to tell you guys is 
take good care of yourself practice self-care let me tell you there's just no way you're going to be caring for yourself with the little that you have and you would be having that time to look at another person's life and feel like your life is worthless because you're not caring for yourself skincare you're not doing self-care you're not practicing you're not even trying to be fit you're not drinking your water you're not living healthy you're not trying to develop a good relationship with yourself nothing you're just there how do you expect that you're going to love your life how are you supposed to love your life when you don't even care for the life that god has given to you how is that even possible guys learn to care for yourself practice self-care guys this is why this channel is here to help you guys practice self-care within your means okay if you want to do your facial max go ahead there are so many affordable facial max that you can get you can get to miniso and buy facial max you know do your self-care pamper yourself do some maybe friday self-care nights wednesday self-care nights saturday self-care nights try to do something like care for this yourself sometimes you can just decide that oh today i just want to have green tea i just want to do this i want to go to the spa i want to get my pedicure i want to get my manicure i want to do this i want to practice self-care read books do things that makes you feel good like when you do things that makes you feel good i promise you you're not going to have that time so look at another person that might feel like oh my life is so bad my life is so worthless that's because you're already so focused on your own life to even think about another person's own okay you're already so focused on your own life live within your means okay enjoy your life within your means and keep you know working hard for more when more comes you know already that you're ready to receive more but when you keep comparing yourself to other people you wouldn't even see when more comes because it's never enough it is never going to be enough for you so please and please and please practice self-care that's another point okay this brings me to my next point guys find something that you love doing find a hobby find just find something that you absolutely love doing something that brings you joy something that makes you happy find something that you just enjoy you have passion for find a new hobby maybe it could be learning how to sew it could be learning how to bake it could be maybe you know learn how to take better pictures maybe photography skills whatever find something okay find something that you enjoy doing and do it because when you're busy with your hobbies you're busy with the things that you enjoy doing you're going to be so content with your life i'm telling you you're not going to have the time you're not going to have the time to sit down and say ah, this person's life it's just better than mine you wouldn't because your life is already filled with so many fun activities so many amazing activities you enjoy the things that you're doing okay so look for something look for a hobby whatever it is do you want to learn how to bake do you want to maybe learn how to sew whatever it is that you want to learn how to do go ahead and learn how to do these things find a hobby maybe your hobby can even turn into like you know money making machine for you you can't tell but try and get busy doing something don't just sit down there and expect that someone will come and help you or someone will come and just now god can send destiny help us yes but when it comes to comparison and when it comes to getting better with our lives we have to get up and say we don't want to be in that space where we do not like our lives we don't want to be in that space where we have to compare ourselves to other people because we know that the life that god has given to us is enough and we are going to take good care of it okay so that is something that we need to do get busy get busy nobody is coming to save you save yourself get up and save yourself so you don't find yourself in that space where you're comparing yourself to another person because when your life is filled with activities i promise you baby you're not gonna have that time to be saying oh 
look at my leg i don't like these look at that person you're not gonna have that time i promise you you're not gonna have that time so please get busy with your life take it from a girl take it from a girl get busy with your life another thing you have to learn to do is to speak positivity over your life now i know that this has just this is just going to be like positivity and comparison how does this even have but hear me out when you're showering yourself with positive affirmations you're telling yourself things like i am beautiful i am amazing everything i touch is amazing wherever i step in i glow i shine when you begin to say these things to yourself and you say it regularly till it becomes your reality the more you speak good to yourself the more you become that person that you are speaking if you continue to say oh my life sucks oh my life is not good i promise you everything in this life would be working not in your favor but when you keep saying things like everything works for my favor everything is amazing in my life when you speak positively to yourself you have you've already created this kind of energy that negative energies like toxic comparison cannot even come your way because the atmosphere in which you surrounded yourself with is already positive so negative energy is, is hard to infiltrate but when you create a room for negative energy i promise you trust trust those negative they will come at you they are literally going to be fighting you every single day one of the things i try to do in my life is guys i speak positively even when i'm with people when i saw i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm, don't say that don't say that like i will not even allow you to say anything uh, anything negative because i know how much energies can pass you need to surround yourself with people that are positive one and also give positivity to yourself so most importantly give positivity to yourself because not everybody's going to be positive around you and it's just what it is but when you already absorb the energy of positivity into your life you do not have the space to accommodate negative energies like comparing yourself to another person practice positive affirmations practice positive affirmations it is so important very very important do not surround yourself with negative thoughts, negative affirmations, or negative sayings over your life. Because the more you do, it becomes your reality. If you say your life is bad, your life is this, it's definitely going to be that. Point blank, period. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So if you think this is how your life is, oh, best believe that's how your life is always going to be. But if you think your life is, is beautiful, your life is amazing, your life is always going to be amazing. And the last thing that I'm going to say is learn to log out. Learn to drop your phone. Learn to move your phone to one side. Just learn to not be on those platforms where you're seeing things that will make you compare yourself all the time. Now, I'm not saying do not use social media. I'm not saying do not be online. That is not what Joy is saying. I'm just saying that sometimes you need to learn to, you know, just put your phone aside. And also, you also need to learn to understand that whatever you see on social media sometimes can be true and sometimes cannot be true. You know, people are there. Some people are there to just gain like validation from other people. Some people are there to just like feel better about themselves. So most times you might see someone posting things that you don't even know if it's true. So you just need to just look at social media as just a platform. Just It's just there. Nothing. It's just there. Once you put off your phone and you go to bed, this thing doesn't have any power over you. It's your decision to turn it on. It's your decision to turn it off. It doesn't control you. You control it. So whatever you're seeing on all those platforms, whoever's live, you're comparing yours to, you shouldn't be because the moment you put that that phone down, the moment you put off that um, um, platform or that app, that's the end, okay? You have the power to control it. It is your phone. It is your gadget, like for crying out loud. And now, if you find yourself not compare, let's say it's not social media comparison, okay? But most of the time, it's always like looking at someone else's life on social media and feeling like your life is not good enough. Let's say it's someone within like um, close proximity, someone you can easily see. I need you to understand that that person's life is that person's life. Your life is your life. You also need to learn not to 
always be in the space that person is because the more you are in that space you always find yourself or let's say the more you continue to be in that space with that person you always find yourself comparing yourself to that person nine out of ten times but let me tell you something if you do the other tips that i have given to you i guarantee you that you are not going to compare yourself to anybody in any situation and even if you're meant to compare yourself it's going to be healthy comparison it's not going to be comparison that is toxic it's going to be comparison that makes you want to be better in a healthy way so guys this is the end of this chit chat video i hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in another video like this thank you so very much for watching bye i love you Mwah.